Hello crafters, welcome. Michelle here. I have three spring DIYs for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to use these three spring decor items that you can find in the Easter crafting section at Dollar Tree. Let me show you how to make them. The first one we are going to be working on is this cute bunny. Now these are nice and thick. They are MDF, but over the top here on the front, it looks like they have a nice thin veneer that looks like wood. I think it's really pretty. Now the edges are a little bit rugged, so you just need to take some sandpaper and go around and smooth them out before we get started. All my edges are nice and smooth. I'm happy with that. Here on my palette is some Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. Add some water to it and mix it well to create more of a stain effect. I also have a damp piece of paper towel to help spread the paint. Look at how pretty that is. It really does bring out the wood grain in this piece. If you want it darker, you can just go over it a second time or you can use a darker pigmented paint. Now my bunny is all dry and I'm really happy with the stain. As you can tell when I hold it up to a plain piece, it made it nice and rich and the wood grain really stands out. To decorate our bunny, I'm going to be using some of Dollar Tree's lace ribbon. I'm going to wrap this around our bunny's neck. Measure out the amount of lace ribbon you're going to need and trim. I want the lace ribbon to go all the way around the neck and secure in the back. I'm going to be attaching it just using hot glue. Now to add a bit of spring, I'm going to be adding a single bloom of this yellow wildflower. A little bit of this purple flower. And I did take some of the leaves and trim them down smaller. We'll be adding those as well. And there you go, we're all done. Quick, simple, and beautiful. Perfect to suit any home decor. For our carrot and egg here, I've already gone around and smoothed out all of the edges, so we're good to go. On both of these pieces, you wanna get a nice, even, thick coat of Mod Podge. Once you have a good amount of Mod Podge applied, you want to go back and do even strokes to make sure that it is evenly applied all the way across the egg, including all of the edges. Once you have both pieces covered in Mod Podge, you want to set them aside and allow them to fully dry before we move forward. You're also going to need one of the laser word cutouts that you can pick up in the Easter crafting section at Dollar Tree. They have several different ones to choose from. Easter, Bunny, Hop, Risen, and several other ones to choose from. Here out on my palette, I have Martha Stewart's Satin Acrylic Paint in the color Aberdeen. Depending on what paint you're going to be using, you need to get one to two coats onto your wood word. To cover the base of our carrot, you're going to need one of the Crafter Square crafting paper packs. 
This is the one that has all the different colors across and they all have polka dots. I chose uh, the light green with the white polka dots. We're also going to be using one of these Spring Fling Guest Napkins. You get 14 in a package. They are 13 inches by 15.625 inches. You will need one. The napkins are two ply. You're going to need to remove the second ply. Once you have it fully open, start at a corner and separate the two pieces. It might be a little difficult at one corner, so try another. The Mod Posh is completely dry on the egg, so we're ready to move forward. I took the egg and traced it out on this beautiful printed paper that came out of one of the paper packs that I have, but you can pick up decorative paper by the sheet at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Sometimes you can get it for less than a dollar when it's on sale. Now if the paper doesn't fit perfectly over the egg, that's okay. We can always clean it up later with a bit of sandpaper. Next you'll want to place something that is heat resistant. I'm using parchment paper over the top. Then you'll need an iron and you're going to want to iron over the paper. Move the iron slowly over the paper so that you remelt the Mod Podge and the paper attaches. You don't want to let the iron sit in any one spot for a long time. Just slowly move from the center outwards and work your way around the egg until everything is fully attached. Now this cute little mini iron that I'm using I did pick up from Amazon. You can find it in my Amazon associate shop under tools. You can find the link in the description box below or in the comment section. Now that the egg has cooled, I can go around with my sandpaper and remove any excess paper. You want to drag down and away. This will remove any excess paper and give you a really nice clean edge. Now let's get to work on the carrot. The green polka dot is going to cover the top. And this beautiful orange and white check will cover the bottom of the carrot. We'll be attaching it the same way using the iron. Once you have your paper and napkin attached, you'll want to go back and roughly cut off any excess paper or napkin. I have roughly removed the excess napkin and paper from the carrot. The carrot top is intricate and would be very difficult to cut out, so we're going to try a new technique using a lighter. You'll want to have a garbage can and some water nearby just in case anything goes awry. You'll also want to do this in a well ventilated area. We're going to start here on the end with the napkin. You want to light the end and allow it to burn. It should burn right up to the edge and not any further. Once the napkin side is complete, you'll want to do the same thing with the carrot top and remove the paper. It may take a few more tries of lighting it with the carrot top if you're using thicker paper like I am. The napkins seem to work perfectly. The carrot top I had to go back and relight a few times. If you're enjoying today's content, make sure to subscribe. And when the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube will let you know every time I upload new content. And I do upload new content to my channel every week. But I'm very happy with the end result. I love the way the edges look slightly burned. It helps give it that rustic look that I was looking for. To finish off our cute little rustic carrot, we're going to add a twine bow. 
You want to start by cutting a piece a few inches long. This is what we're going to use to tie the center. I like to use my hand and depending on the size of bow, I can use uh, two, three, four fingers or I can even open them wider if I want it larger. You want to start at one end, leave an excess of about an inch. Wrap several times around your fingers. I'm going to go about 10 times. You want to end on the opposite side and leave an inch of excess twine. Pull it off, secure in the center, and tie it off. You can trim off the excess ends and look at how cute you have an adorable little bow. Here on the carrot, secure the twine on the back and wrap around several times. Secure it again in the back. And attach your bow. Look at how adorable this rustic carrot is. It's time to get our Woodward hop attached to our egg. I absolutely love this dark purple color over the spring floral paper that I chose. To get this attached, I'm simply going to use some Elmer's glue and a couple drops of hot glue to keep it in place until Elmer's can set up. And here you go. We are all done with all three pieces. I'm really happy with the end results. I think they all came out so adorable. The egg is very cute. That purple color on the paper is so pretty. Perfect for spring. And I love the little bit of burnt edges all the way around. I think that is so pretty. It just adds to that rustic feeling. And our sweet little bunny. All of these are really cute and very easy to make using the new wood decor pieces that you can find at Dollar Tree in their Easter section. If you're looking for more Easter inspiration, you're going to want to check out my Easter playlist. You can click into it right here. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. If you know anyone who would enjoy my content, please share it with them. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. You have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.